What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today. Another very exciting Samsung video for you guys. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how you can turn off the annoying personalized ads that you get while browsing in Google products like Google Chrome or even on Samsung internet. Basically anything on your phone that connects to Google services um, like your web browser um, or any other part of the Google ecosystem gives you those personalized ads. And there's a way to reset that. You can't get rid of the ads entirely, but sometimes people don't like the fact that when they search for a particular thing, they start seeing ads about it everywhere. Uh, before we get into that, I do wanna thank my son, Jonathan, for giving us the uh, tiny T-Rex over here. We got mini Rexy hanging out with us today. We appreciate that. I also wanna remind you guys, if you wanna save some money on your wireless service, you can do so by switching to my partners over at Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile has premium wireless, and right now during one of their best deals of the year, they have unlimited premium wireless for just $15 a month, which is 50% off the usual rate. Now, Mint has a bunch of different plans that have different data sizes, et cetera, a five gig plan, 15 gig plan, 20 gig plan, and the unlimited plan. But right now during this deal, all of those plans are just $15 a month. So of course you wanna go with that unlimited plan to get 50% off their best plan overall. All the plans come with unlimited talk and text, nationwide coverage, mobile hotspot included as well. Very simple to switch to Mint. You can get either an eSIM or physical SIM. They'll also send you out a SIM tool so you can pop out your old SIM pop in the mint sim and let the savings begin. I've been using them for about nine months in the Phoenix, Arizona area, and I've had a great experience. If you guys wanna give them a try, which I highly recommend, go to mintmobile.com slash Springer. It's also in the pinned comment description. Sign up for a three month Mint Mobile plan. You'll get this amazing limited time offer, 50% off the unlimited plan. And if you guys sign up with a plan with my link, you can also get a free smartphone case sent to me as a thank you for you guys trying mint, like my beautiful Arc Pulse here in liquid metal for the Galaxy S23 Ultra. That's any smartphone case from any manufacturer. does not have to be Samsung. Mintmobile.com slash Springer. Sign up today. Get in touch with me via email or Twitter DM, and I'll send out that, that personal case to you guys uh, as a personal thank you for trying Mint. We do appreciate them for being partners with the channel. So let's go ahead and talk about uh, this security, kind of a privacy thing that people don't really like it when they get personalized ads. Usually it's more like when you search a product one time and it was just you were looking up something out of curiosity and then you start seeing ads about it everywhere. But maybe it's not something you're consistently interested in. So for instance, I love to collect sports cards. So if I browse something about sports cards on Facebook, I don't mind seeing ads about that because I collect them avidly and it's something that I'm interested in all the time. Same thing with tech. But if I look up something about, um, let's say baby powder, the best type of baby powder once for my son, I might not need that all the time and I don't wanna keep seeing ads about it everywhere. So there's a way you can turn this off on your device and I'll actually show you guys a couple of other security and privacy tricks as well. Go up to the settings menu, which is just the main settings cog up there and then find security and privacy right here. Now when you scroll down, find privacy and then when you hit privacy, you're gonna go in, you're gonna see a whole bunch of stuff. You'll see your different permissions, your camera access, mic access, um, alert when the clipboard is accessed, which is actually another good feature um, that I would recommend turning on because some apps can um, basically scrape what you have on your clipboard and use that to their advantage as well. And if you, you pass, you know, copy and paste a password or something, something bad could happen there. But what we want today is this one right here. It says other privacy settings. So go in here. There's a couple of things in here, actually. The main one I want to talk about first, though, is right under where it says ads. So if you go to ads and tap on this, you're going to see here, it says manage the info used to show you ads and measure the performance. So this is something that Google does. You can see the device advertising ID at the bottom. That's just something that Google uses. And in fact, if you tap on learn more, Google will tell you how personalized ads work. And there's a big thing about it. Obviously, basically by using Google services, you're giving them the right to serve you ads based on personalized data because then they can sell the right to those ads to companies for more money. And that's what you get um, in exchange for using all Google services for free. Whether or not you think it's a great deal is up to you, um, but that's the price you pay for using Google services um, for quote unquote free. But you can reset and delete your advertising ID up here. Um, and what this will basically do is if you reset your advertising ID, this will generate a new advertising ID that apps can use from now on. So if you tap on this, it says reset advertising ID. This replaces the ex device's existing advertising ID with a new one and apps can still show you ads but for a while they won't be as relevant or interesting to you. So I'm not gonna do this now, but if I started seeing a bunch of ads about a product that I searched one time, and I don't wanna see those anymore, uh, I could then go ahead and get rid of that. Sometimes it could be something that you search that you don't even wanna be reminded of. Maybe it's something you don't wanna think about anymore, then you could do that. The other thing you could do is delete the advertising ID. So if you delete the advertising ID, 
It says it deletes your current advertising ID. Apps can still show you ads, but they will not be as relevant or interesting to you ever. So basically this is if you don't want them to use your information at all. Apps use this device's advertising ID to show you personalized ads. When you lose personalization, it means you less control over the type of ads you see. Um, and that of course then means that obviously Google can sell them for less money uh, and you also see more annoying ads potentially. Um, and while it will delete it, you still are gonna see ads, but they might not be as interesting to you. So you can try deleting this. Um, I don't really recommend it because you're just still gonna see ads, but they won't be anything that you're interested in. Um, so the only thing that I would ever really use is the reset. And I have done that before when I start seeing a bunch of ads for something I searched one time that I no longer care about. Now this enable debug logging for ads, you don't really need that, that's mainly for developers. The other thing I wanna show you guys though, back here, is inside of the Samsung privacy section, there's also the customization service. Now I've had a problem connecting to the server lately. You guys will have to let me know if you've had this problem. I talked about customization service in the past. This is basically how Samsung uses your information to basically serve you ads from within the own Samsung ecosystem, like in the Shop Samsung app and the Galaxy theme store. They're also using your personalized information and you can turn that on or off. In fact, if you go back here to the main settings, just as an aside, if you search for, search for customization services, customization service, you can see right here, you can see the different things that are actually included. Calendar, clock, finder. You're supposed to be able to turn these off within each one. So if you go into one of them like modes and routines, you can turn the customization servers on or off. Um, and inside there, you'll be able to see all the different customized apps that you have. But lately I've been having this issue where it doesn't connect to the server. I don't know why, because I'm not using a VPN or anything weird. In fact, right now I'm on 5G. So let me know if you guys have had this issue. It's been kind of intermittent. It's not good because Samsung should give you the option to obviously opt out um, of this customization based on your personalized data if you don't want it. And you can erase your data from the customization service. You can also turn it off entirely. So I guess I could just do that anytime I want. Um, I usually don't because I like to be aware of some new themes and stuff. Just because I make content on this channel about Samsung, uh, if I didn't, then I probably wouldn't have it enabled. Anyway, hope this is useful information to you guys. If you enjoyed the video, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification icon for future videos like this. If you guys want to save some money on your wireless, go to mintmobile.com slash Springer. Sign up for any three-month Mint Mobile plan. Get this limited time 50% off offer for the unlimited plan and also a free smartphone case for me. Get in touch with me via email or Twitter DM. I'll send out that case. It's a personal thank you for you guys trying Mint. And I appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next one.